time is now 6.16 and it's time for What's Trending. Mickey Mouse's Lady Love is getting a makeover. Gone is the red polka dotted dress and Disney says Minnie Mouse will debut her new look at Disneyland in Paris. The company calls the first ultra chic pantsuit for Minnie Mouse and the outfit is blue and black polka dotted with a matching bow and her heels have also been replaced with sensible black shoes. British fashion designer Stella McCartney designed the look in honor of Women's History Month in March. Now this is pretty cool to see a like a beloved cartoon character change up their look because they're known for their looks and they don't ever change them. So especially because I love a good pantsuit or a good jumpsuit. So this is really cool. And like they mentioned, chic to have Minnie Mouse in a different color and it, it's just a whole different vibe. Yeah, and jumpsuits are the thing right now, if I recall correctly, in the world of fashion for uh, many, uh, for many on it. What? <laughs> no, I because I love them. I wear them. Yeah, all jumpsuits. The time. Jumpsuits a thing. I mean, if you watch a Today Show, the ladies there do a great job uh, with their jumpsuits. Also, I'm just and impressed that you're like yeah. up on the fashion trend. Yeah, I mean, I, I, for giggles. once, I, I know for once, I actually pay attention to something. And I do observe that jumpsuits are definitely catching a thing, not only because they look nice, but I believe they're also comfortable. So they're right very here. comfy. Yeah. yeah. From what I've heard, they are comfortable as well. I obviously couldn't tell you. But, um, we could find you one. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's, not, that's not. But um, getting back to Minnie Mouse, I just wonder how it's going to like help help the or hurt the uh, branding of it because you always see Minnie Mouse. Oh, yeah. When was the character developed? Like in the twenties? Uh, yeah. yeah. so I don't know that. Off I, my it's head. almost a hundred years of always knowing Minnie Mouse is someone in a polka dot dress. But so. they do say mm -hmm. if your brain doesn't evolve with the times, like you kind of die out. Yeah. So it'll be like you said, interesting to see how they mm -hmm. do it and if they give her more outfits to mm -hmm. choose from. Yeah, yeah, I could. I mean, now, now the question is, I mean, will it re totally replace the old the old classic outfit that she had before, or will it just be an addition? And I don't honestly don't know what I didn't hear if it's replacing or anything else. But uh, I mean. They're kind of keeping the polka dot theme and the bow on there, so there's kind of some classic touches on there. But yeah, I mean, when Minnie Mouse was developed, jumpsuits weren't a thing. But so. what I want to know too is Mickey Mouse going to yep. get an update because mm. if she's super chic, is he going to get a tuxedo or yeah. something? Mm. So That's I mean, I've, I've seen maybe a hipster I, outfit. I've seen uh, Mickey has a lot of outfits, so I mean, if you go to Disney World, there's a lot of. He, I thought he was just suspenders and like red shorts. Well, yeah, that's, that's a classic outfit, but you see, there's some other um, outfits to like Mickey's Mickey's cooking or maybe dressed okay, up or so something. Okay, so he has more options. He than does Mickey. have. It's options. time for her to step up and get a closet, all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, well, let's take a turn here. Well, a video in South Dakota, a police officer making a DoorDash delivery has gone viral. Let's take a look. It was all captured on the home's ring camera. In the video, Sioux Falls police officer Sam Clemens tells the resident he is not who they were expecting as he hands over the uh, order from Arby's. The officer had stopped the DoorDash Dasher near the home, the driver was ultimately arrested for a crime. And when Clemens realized the driver was delivering for DoorDash, he decided to make the delivery himself. Clemens says, while this isn't a normal part of the officer's job, it's not unusual for them to go out of their way to help others. And that's, yeah, you definitely wouldn't expect that. I know, like, when an officer shows up at your door, you're, you have so much suspicion, and then he's delivering food. So all good on the customer's part. Yeah, and it's really interesting uh, to really to really see this too. Good job, that officer, though. I mean, going above and beyond a call of duty after um, someone obviously was not being very nice and had to be taken to jail and uh, had to deliver that food still, too. And one thing I did notice, too, was that lady's shirt. I recognize that logo, South Dakota State. My college faces off against them every now and again. So just one of those small details I just happened to notice. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Can you imagine, like, a police officer being like, I got your Arby's order? Yeah. Like, do you tip him or, like, do you just, like, let it go? Oh, I don't I'd know. say I'd yeah. say you should tip them. I mean, well, they, they, they you'd have to give them a cash tip. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah give them a cash tip. I mean, police officers go through enough grief during uh, during each day whenever yeah. they're doing uh, some uh, good things or bad things. Or I wouldn't say bad things, but encountering bad things is probably the best word to use. And mm -hmm. uh, they deserve as much love as they can. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. But meanwhile, though, you're about to meet a very old man, maybe 200 years old. No one really knows how old Jonathan the tortoise is, but it's probably is believed he is probably 190. What is known is he was gifted to Sir William Gray Wilson in 1882, and that's good enough for Guinness World Records to name him the oldest ever of his kind. Jonathan was brought from the 
how do you say that? I can't even help you that one. I won't go with Sikeli's on that one. To the remote island of St. Helena, and Wilson would later become governor, and photographs from that time show him grazing in the garden of the governor's residence. And these days, Jonathan is fed things like cabbage, cucumber, and carrots by hand because he's lost his vision and sense of smell. Veterinarians say he can still hear and remain, sp remain spry, and that's really interesting, a, a very old tortoise. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just think of the Geico commercial that's been <laughs> like making the rounds where they're like, well, Geico's been around for 85 years, and then he's like, is the gecko like 85 oh, yeah. years old? And he's like, well, <laughs> the tortoise can live to be two, two, 200. Yeah. So. I think of Finding Nemo and the sea turtle who said it was 150. 150, so and still young. Like, the story I would, uh, I wonder how old that turtle like really is and like all the stories that he could tell from the It's always interesting. If only you could talk to animals, right? It'd be kinda interesting <laughs> to really to be able to learn more about it. I see why you're laughing. 